a kind of a surrealist of the of the uh, Middle Ages, Hieronymus Bosch, circa 1450 to 1516, was more than an anomaly. Featuring brand new photography of recently restored paintings, this exhaustive book, published in view of the upcoming 500th anniversary of her of his death, by, is published by Tasha, and it's 300 massive pages. And even features a huge gatefold. I'll show you this top and bottom. Fold out, fold out again, fold out again to 43 inches all the way across. That's 110 centimeters. And it's covering the Garden of Earthly Delights. The whole book is 11 inches by 15.6 and is in a decorated carry handle slipcase. Bosch was very much an innovator. His real name was Hieronymus van Aken and he was widely copied and imitated. The surviving number of his works uh, is only 20 paintings and eight drawings confidently asserted to his oeuvre. And here they are in all their splendiferous exactitude and detail and mythology. The Temptation of St. Anthony was that one. Christ carrying the cross. And one of his inventions was to take figural and scenic representations known as drolleries, which use the monstrous and the grotesque to illustrate good and evil, sin and evil. And alongside traditional hybrids of man and beast are such mythical creatures as griffins, centaurs, unicorns, devils and dragons. Here again is another gatefold at the beginning. No expense has been spared by the German publisher Taschen in this £100 brand new book. I'll just show you the slipcase carry case beautifully decorated with a little carry handle for safe mailing. That's Hieronymus Bosch, the complete works from bibliophilebooks.com.